Hi there, uh, Marcus here from Four Parts. I'm going to try and show you as many different options uh, in Four Parts that can prevent you from doing cash ups uh, and updating prices and things like that. Um, and more specifically, saying that to the system that you've got a queue. Now, on the system and on the screen at the moment, you can see at the bottom there there's a queue number there. That queue number at the moment is four. So let's go and do a, another sale. Um, and I'm just going to ring up something there, argument sake, uh, brutal fruit for now. And I'm cashing it off. Do you wish to receipt? No, thanks. Now, the queue number will increase, um, and it increases with as many transactions as you do. So the more transactions that you do, the bigger the queue will become. And often we don't realize this, that the queue is there. We get into a mad panic, and we only get to the end of the day. And at the end of the day, we want to be able to do a cash up. And we press F12, and the system says, uh-uh, sorry, suppress transactions is on. So you've suppressed the transaction. So I've deliberately did this. Suppress transactions is the ability that you can do uh, suppress transactions in a 24-hour store type of thing, which will allow the lady in the office to catch up at 9 o'clock and not doesn't have to come in at 4 or 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning to go and do that. Okay, so the system is telling me, warning me that my suppress transactions is on. Um, and nicely it will ask me, do you wish to turn it off now? Yes, thank you. I want to turn it off. Um, all right, so now we can take OK. And now it also, it's tried to update it, as you can see. And it says, no, there's still currently transactions in the queue. Um, you cannot do a, uh, an update point of sale. OK, oh, sorry, you cannot do a cash up. Um, and you see a cash up declaration can only take place, da, da, da. System going to try and post it to server place OK to continue. And it will actually try and open up the domain controller for you automatically, which it tries to do. Um, and it says, no, there's a problem. So long and short of it is the domain control. Sorry, the domain controller is actually open. It's just very minimized. Um, so as you can see at the bottom left hand side of the screen, uh, sorry, let me just close my task manager over there. As you can see at the bottom uh, side of the screen, suppress transactions is still is on again because the cash up is completed. So in the point of sale, I'm clicking on it now and I'm pressing control S. It's gone and my queue number is off now. Because the queue is zero, I can actually go and do the cash up uh, as per normal. All right. So the first step to do when you've got a queue number is make, go and make sure that your domain controller is open. If it's not open, open it. Uh, somebody phoned the other day and said, uh, but we left it open this morning. Yes, I, we're not disputing the fact that it was open this morning, but somebody can close it and most likely did. Um, so it's important to set up your passwords maybe to say whether these, uh, the manager or the cashiers can close it. Otherwise, they will click on exit on it because they don't know better. And then eventually you'll end up with a problem. Okay, so that's the one part of the queue. The domain controller is open now. Okay, so I was able to do the cash up. The other problem that you will experience, the other problem that you will experience is that argument sake the domain controller is open, but the domain controller has some sort of error on. In other words, in this case example in point for instance, if I had till number two connected and I could not do a cash up on till number two and the queue on till number two is not being cleared, it's because the four pass system cannot communicate properly with that pause machine. As you can see, it's got a little cross through it. So it says active but not found according to the legend on the right hand side. Uh, the legend is basically just an example of the three different or four different states that you can get. In other words, active and connected, as you can see on the service, perfect. That's the way it's supposed to be, very normal. And again, this missing cash up declarations that you see at the bottom, also normal. Normal because the system is telling you that there's just some sales. As you can see, there's some activity that's happened on this machine, but there's not been a cash up. All right. The second option is active not found, which is exactly what we get on there. Now, if we had to go to the details of that, we'll go into the back office and go and see how we set that machine up. Uh, and if I look at pass two, you'll see that I refer to that as pass two. Now, again, uh, every day or every second day, we're getting into these huge discussions with technicians uh, and of course they're all far more clever than us uh, definitely got more years of experience than us and they want to tell us that no their network is actually perfect okay nothing wrong with their network all right so the easiest way to check that gentlemen and ladies 
for the lady technician or female technicians, seeing that it's the uh, Women's Month, um, is to go into Explorer, um, and then under Explorer, just simply go and type in backslash backslash the machine name that you've specified in your back office where you configured it, like this, and then backslash C. Okay, so let's go and try that again. So I'm going to say backslash backslash pass two backslash C. Okay, now again for all the clever technicians, um, guys, this was gentlemen, ladies, people, persons. This is how we want to access it. We don't want to access it your way. And somebody says no, but you know you can, if you go it through this way and you do that and you double click there and so on. Remember, we're talking about software communicating with a hard drive. It's not brain surgery. It's very very simple. Now, if you did not give uh, the proper sharing and so on to that computer, this is why you get the error. Okay. Uh, no doubt about it. No arguing about it. No point in saying, yes, but I know better and, and, and. If you do it right, you will never have this problem.